Oh, you got this. You like this turn, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's my new one. Is it? Ten seconds, I think. Something like that. Quick! Quick. Here we go. Right, let's take it in your own time. That's sweet of you. Eric, you seem to have um, really enjoyed last night and, uh, and you're preparing now for tonight's concert. Uh, do you ever find that the novelty even a little bit wears off of playing? Um, yeah. Yeah, I suppose this would probably get a drudge if we did it for another six months every night, unless we changed around uh, the, the material. But as it is, we're only, this is only the fifth show we've done all together. And, you know, as a band, mm. we're still, we're only just now getting into our stride. And we may not even be getting there yet. And we stop tonight, it's all over. Isn't that going to be a bit of a sort of anticlimax? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's life. But that's why it's great. It's because, you know, it's just a one-off thing. And what made you suddenly decide to do so, some more concerts? Well, the band was so, I mean, when I decided to do this album with Phil, Phil wanted to play drums, and he said, well, who should we get? And I said, well, let's get Nathan and Greg, because I'd never played with anyone that good in my life. You know, and I, th I just dreamed of it as a great little band. And if we went into the studio with a great band like that, we could knock off as much as we wanted. And it worked that way. It all came true. And when we finished the album, everyone wanted to go on the road. And we just continued. We couldn't stop, you see. So that's how we, that's that's how it came about. And when you're at home, do you play when you're at home? What do you do when you're at home? At the moment, I'm sort of halfway through making a locomotive. Hmm? Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Well, a proper one. A toy train. Or a little yeah. one. <laughs> how big is it? Word, how big is it? Oh, I don't know. You said you wouldn't ask me. <laughs> now look, that big. What, can you sit on it? Or that big. It's actually strong enough to pull you around the garden, I think. It's a steam train. So... That's what I do. I like to build models and things, get into hobbies, you know. Mm. Very rarely practice the guitar. Do you not? No. So what happens? When does the news come upon you and you decide that you At want to either minute. go back on the road or make an album or whatever? Well, I usually set up something for myself to do, either on, in the studio or on the road, and then leave it until the last minute and go into a mad dash. Now, uh, some of the songs last night were, were sort of quite funk-influenced. Funk, eh? Yeah. Well, like Grand Funk Railroad? Well, what? not quite like Grand Funk Railroad, but... More modern type. Yeah, hey, you were yeah. getting into your groove, huh? Getting down, um, yeah. Have you noticed this particularly? What you've been listening to? Um, the last thing I've been listening to is Steve Winwood's album, which is only just out, but... Yeah, I, I'm just sort of trying to keep abreast, I suppose. I mean, definitely getting these guys, you know, Greg and Nathan, you can't get funky than that. Although they are a bit West Coast, where are they? Right. They're but asleep just behind the drums. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I'm, my playing as such doesn't change, I don't think, really that much. The sound changes a little bit, but the framework is what makes the difference. Are there any new groups that, um, that you've been listening to that you've liked? Yes, yeah, Simply Red, I like Go West. And... You like Go West? Yeah. There's a new, actually, a new, very new group called Curiosity Killed the Cat that I should plug because they're the son of the son of one of my friends is playing in it, and they're very good. A bit like Go West. Uh, if if you were. But I saw Go West on your program. Yes, because everyone else left and they had to do half That's an right. hour. That's right. <laughs> and the poor guitarist broke a string, and he couldn't play because he had it tuned up with the tremolo and everything. He broke a string and it all went out of tune. I thought, oh, you poor son. Are there any people you'd like to play with? Apart from, uh, I mean, you've played with all the, the, the greats, but are there any of the new groups that you would have quite liked to have done things with? What do you think of people like Dave Stewart? And yeah, I think like he's him? phenomenal. I really love his concept of things, and he's so confident. I think that's really important, you know, that he just he follows his nose and gets it right without any doubt. Well, I don't, maybe he does have doubts, but it doesn't seem to. The people I like to play with at the moment, is, um, we're doing this show tonight with Robert Craig. Yeah. And uh, has, he, has he done the tune? I don't know, he hasn't. Get, I think he's dynamite, and he's gorgeous, really good, and a great player, and that's the kind of person oh, I'd like to play if I can get a chance, you know, with um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, for some, you know, for instance. Who's he? Stevie Ray, who's he? I don't believe it. Keep your 
kidding. You know, you know Jimmy Vaughan, the fabulous Thunderbirds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, it's his brother, Stevie Ray Vaughan. All right. All right. Don't have to check. I just have to check. But do you think that it? I mean, is it ever difficult for you when you listen to albums because of you being so brilliant? Do you ever listen to albums and sort of get a bit of a, spot the mistakes rather than just be able to listen to them? No, music? no. I'm or got... think, oh, I would have played it like that, or. Oh yeah, what sometimes, is he doing? sometimes I do. Sometimes it's happened, but not very often. Um, but I'm mostly critical about what I do. I'm not very critical about other people, unless they're really naff, you know. I mean, I honestly must admit, I don't like a lot of the, the, the singing styles that come out of England. You know, the sort of Anthony Newley mm. type singing. That, and there's lots of that. There's tons of it, and I can't handle that at all. I still like people to sing with American accents, you know, a bit of vibrato. Do you know? Yeah. There's some people, some people this afternoon, tell me that um, one might imagine that in the early days that to a certain extent you spawned a lot of what, when people copied it, became kind of heavy metal guitar playing. So what do you now think of, of groups like, you know, I don't know what they're called, I've got one written down well, here. Like Rainbow or... or yeah. Deathclaw. Deathclaw, I haven't See, that's too new for me to know. Rat. Rat. <laughs> I haven't heard them. Deathclaw and Rat. Deathclaw. Well, I think their name says enough, <laughs> doesn't it? I mean, I wouldn't actually go out of my way. I think they're trying to... Catch up, up with Deathclaw. <laughs> no, I don't... I can't claim responsibility for that. I think, um... If anything, I may have had something to do with the sound of the guitars being like that, but in terms of what is played... I haven't heard anyone, uh, you know, usually from those groups, they just make a lot of noise. And they don't have a melodic thing at all. A sort of anti-melody. And I'm a bit too romantic for all that. Are you very romantic, mm, always? Very, very. A little sentimental. Are you? Mm. I should be crying tonight up there. Will you? Oh, yeah. You're doing all the sappy songs and... Well, you know, yeah. No, we won't do any sappy, just because it's the last night of this little thing, it'll be very... Because one of the things I was thinking when I um, listened to stuff that you've done in the past, that perhaps, perhaps do you never feel in retrospect that you've revealed rather a lot of yourself in songs? Yeah, but that's probably because I don't reveal a lot of myself in other ways. You know, I'm quite like you were saying about Jeff. I'm very, very concealed sort of personality most of the time. So I can safely do it in my songs. I, don't, I like to have a good private life. Or fairly private, you know. Well, it's not very private. It's is fairly it, private. It's, it's fairly scorching. private. Well, now and then, yeah. Well, you know, but uh, there's sort of interim periods when it all dies down again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're a naughty girl. I'm not. I just well, think you, that you, a lot of it comes out in songs, and perhaps you know, for somebody who's remained very private from the point of view of just publicity, yes. that actually most people feel like they know all sorts of things about you. Do you think they really do? Yeah, I think they think mm. they know. Yes, that's what I mean, but do you think they really do? No one really does. Mm, no, probably not. Mm. How, what do you think about, you did the biography. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that, now that you look back on the book? Well, I, I tell you the actual truth about the book was that um, Ray gave me, he won't mind me saying this because it's all above board, but he gave me a draft to, to read and to correct whatever. And I did that, and then I went off on the road. And this was the middle of last year. And, uh, or was it the middle of the year before? I don't know. I came back and the book was out. And, it, and I, I, was, uh, I was a bit taken aback because it, it, hadn't, it hadn't been changed or, you know, I still hadn't seen another draft from the one I'd corrected. So it was, I jumped the gun a bit. And there was lots of arguments about, you know, certain, the market being ripe and all this sort of thing, which was, didn't make it any better for me. I mean, when you open the book, the first thing you see photographically is a picture of my uncle and my great-grandma. And it says underneath, Eric and his mother. <laughs> you know, but they're wearing sort of, she's got a flappers outfit on. It's like 1910, I, you know. How do they work that out? So it's, it's actually fairly incorrect on a lot of that levels, and, and a lot of things. But he used your diaries. Yes. You're obviously a keen diarist. I, go, I let him have the diaries and said, well, you know, we're, if we're going to be... Well, how do you feel about somebody else reading your diary? Well, that particular diary, funnily yeah. enough, on the opening page said, read at your leisure and, you know, add bits if you want to. Add bits if you want to? I yeah. really thought that was a bit risky. What? Add bits if you want well, to. That was good fun. You sent a postcard to your dog. Yes. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Now, why were you called Slow Hand? 
because I'm very slow. I'm not a very fast player. Is that why? I don't know. That's my reason for looking at it. What do you call slow hand? Because I'm very slow. I'm not a very fast player. Is that why? I don't know. That's my reason for looking at it. What do you call it's a good explanation, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm just not a very fast player. <laughs> now, what do you think of all this stuff lately that's been in the papers about George? I, I was thinking you'd ask me that. I've been, I've been very aggravated by the situation, because um, having been fairly involved with dope at earlier points in my life, it seems to me that I could have gone to a police station and said, look, you know, I want to tell my story, and, that, and, and been arrested. I don't understand that. I mean, I know, I'm not an expert on the law, but I don't understand how he can be arrested by having taken drugs without actually having them on his person. Do you know what the answer is? No, I don't know, because I wondered it as well, because the police broke into his house and there were no drugs in his house, but he's still been arrested, so yeah. I don't quite, I must admit, that it's all pretty nebulous. I, I, must, I think it sticks to high of heaven, actually. I think it really is very disturbing. I don't like the idea of it at all. I mean, either, I can understand someone being busted because they got something in their pocket, but because they've been in the news, or, you know, they've been pressured into doing it by MPs, I don't understand that that gives the police the right. I mean, yeah, I'm against drugs and everything, but I'm also against personal freedom, I you? I mean, I'm also for personal mm. So, well, I don't understand what's going on. Do you think that it's odd that, um, each decade, actually, pop stars don't change very much. Well, I think they're getting... They kind of all dress yeah. up sillier, yeah, but, but they I mean, don't actually change very much. Their lifestyles. I think they're getting a bit... They're getting softer, though. In what way? Well, but, Which ones? Well, Boy George is a bit soft, mm. in a way. I mean, he's... Well, I mean, he hasn't why been, do you think he's different from the ones, was, say, in the 60s? <laughs> in my the day, rowdy we could get over it, you know what I mean? No, we couldn't. It's, it's actually probably the same. You're right. I, I mean, the temptations are so strong that to, to live like a monk is very difficult. But you do now? As much as I can. But still. What sort of a life do you have when you're on the road? I mean, you've got your large gin over there. Yep. And you're smoking like a chimney. Yep. Because I'm nervous. You make me nervous. Oh, no, I don't mean to. It's only because I'm shy with you. Oh, dear, sir. We're both wrong. I know. <laughs> What do you do when you're on the road? How, how <coughs> do you enjoy it? I mean, would you consider going on tour in America I again? I become the like road man as well. Do you? Hey? Yes. What happens? Well, you know, the usual hotel rooms out the window, women everywhere. The wife's in the next room. <laughs> well, she's the kind of woman I have everywhere. <laughs> so, um, this next year, what have you got in mind? I think that we've, I've got this record coming out in September, so I'll promote that. And it's called? It's called One More Car, One More Rider. And it's a Meister work, eh? I think it's probably the best thing I've ever done. And I still think that's because of the company I keep as much as what I do. And you're going to be touring? touring? Yes, I suppose so. I haven't got any plans yet. I'm going to have a nice holiday first. And then, and then to a... show the world what you've got again. Yes. All right. Well, that's enough for me. For I'm a strong woman. Oh, after the... but you did very oh, well. Oh, I know, but it's really hard when you have to be musical. Oh, musical. I was very worried about having to ask you about your pedal. <laughs>